Today, we're going to start on a new branch of engineers and we're going to unlock Elvira Matuk. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. It is once again time to look at engineers, and uh, this time we're looking at Elvira Matuk. Um, one of the engineers that start up a new branch, this brand leads on to Marco Quinn and Palin, other useful engineers. Um, and she also does great five frame shift drive upgrades, so that's very useful. Just as far as she is, she is a very good choice for a first engineer you want to unlock. Um, she also has other things like thrusters and uh, shield generators, I think. So, so again, a pretty, uh, pretty useful engineer. Um, the, as always, what we're going to do, we're going to go through the different steps, like learning about her, um, getting the invite to the base, and unlock engineering facilities. Go through those three steps, and then finally, we're going to look at how you can uh, can level her up the easiest. Okay, but um, the first thing you want to do is we're going to come over here to our engineering tab. We're going to click at View Engineers down here at the bottom, and we're going to find Elvira Matuk. There she is, and we can see here that you learned. Uh, about her from public knowledge. That means you don't have to do anything. You should have her here in your known engineers right when you start the game. So that's pretty easy. Um, so the only thing you really have to do is to, um, if you're going to come to the system right here, it's cool. You don't have to come here from the start. You can do all the other stuff beforehand. We'll go come back to that in a little bit. Here we have Kuhn um, at the outer edge of the bubble. So it's probably a good idea to fit a uh, exploration ship with a fuel scoop if you want to come out here but um, more on that in a little bit because some of the other things you have to do once you let's find her again there she is is of course you need to get access to her um, to the base and you do that by traveling at least um, 300 light years from your starting system and then the final, once you have access to the base, the final step is that you need to provide three units of Soontail relics, um, which we're going to go over and have a look at. So um, let's do that, and then we will be back at the base once we're done with that. The first of the two prerequisites we need to complete was getting 300 light years away from the starting system. Um, if you're not sure whether you've done this, you can go over here to your status tab, and you can go under statistics, and scroll down to see the exploration segment. And here you can see right now it's third from the bottom. It says max max distance from start. And I have been 25,000 uh, light years away from my starting system. I think that was my trip to Secretaries A. But if yours says less than 300, you need to make sure you go out to, um, to uh, further than that from your starting system. Um, and if you haven't done it, Probably you're not that experienced in exploration, so I really recommend that you click uh, on the more info icon. I have a guide to um, to your first exploration ships, depending on how much credit you already have, and some good pointers towards what modules you need to fit and stuff like that. Um, but the other one, the other prerequisite was that you need to get some of these um, Suntil re re Suntil <laughs> relics. Sorry. And um, and these relics are available in the Niguri system, as you can see here. Um, but this system is actually only, I think, 200 something away from the starting system. So if, but it is quite, quite our, far away, as you can see, this at the edge of the bubble. So what you could do is you could head out to the system soon till where the relic is actually about. As you can see, I've already been out here which is all the way out here. Um, and this system is actually 302 light years away from your starting system. So heading out to this system, and it is in the same direction as, uh, as the system where you need to pick up the, um, the relics. So, so head out to that system if you haven't done the 300 light years yet. And once you're out here, you can just turn, turn around and go back into the, uh, to the Naguri system where we can then pick up the relics. And the relics are picked up from the commodity market. And this is the only station where they are sold. You can see them here, soon to relics. There are only uh, 18, oh, sorry, 80 available. So if you have cargo, I'll recommend take as much as you can. But remember, this will um, affect your jump range. Um, so when you're fitting your ship, maybe if you look at the guide I did, maybe try to get a little bit more cargo because you can actually make some decent profit from buying these out here and then flying them back into the bubble and then selling them. So you could could sell them once you arrive um, at another station again. 
but you will at least lead, lead um, three tons of cargo hold. So make sure you have that on your ship and you can then buy your three units. It's only 50,000 credits, so it's not too bad. We're going to get our, our units. You can see the supplies now have been reduced. So, uh, so once you've done your uh, 300 light years to get the invite and you picked up the relics along the way anyway, we can now head back to the engineer and uh, hand them in. Okay, so once you are back at the base, you have been the 300 light years away from the starting system and you have your three um, units of Suntil relics. You can come back here, you can open up the starport services and you should now have here in the engineering workshop, you should have a box here where you can donate those three tons. If you have extra, you can, uh, I think you can sell them. There should be a, a there's like another commodity market here, so you have to find another station. I thought they had a commodity market. Anyway, you have to sell if you have additional relics on another station, but um, you can pretty much find any station. It doesn't really matter. The prices should be pretty close to the same. So you come in here, you don donate the, the relics, and that's it. Now you have access to the engineering facilities. So now that we have to level her up, what I would recommend is that you go and upgrade a shield generator. If you're only interested in going up to grade three, which is what you need to get access to the next set of engineers. So you, if you don't actually need her, you just need to unlock her and get access to the next set of engineers. You don't have to, up, you only have to upgrade her to level three. So therefore I recommend going and upgrading a shield generator. And I recommend going for a, what is it, reinforced shield generator because the materials are pretty easy to get for this. You can see phosphorus here, you can get that from surface prospecting. Um, again, more phosphorus and conductive components here. You can get that either from the Nathan class tanker and or from Daft's Hope. Um, I have videos for those here as well. I will also put a link to a spreadsheet in the description below the video that holds all the different engineering materials with video guides to most of them. So if you have problems, you can just go to that spreadsheet, find the video guide, and it will help you um, with finding that specific material. And of course, the last one for grade three, you also need um, mechanical components, which you can get, and, oh, and, and conductor components again, which you can get at the same place as the conductor components, Staff's Hope and the Tanker. Um, and that should get you up to level three. You just need to do three rolls of grade one, three rolls of grade two, and a single roll of grade three. And that should give you access to the next set of engineers. If you're interested in going all the way to, uh, to grade five for that frameshift drive, you will of course have to do a frameshift drive upgrade. She has plenty of them for sale here as well. They're very well stocked. And here I would probably go increase the range. Um, and again, go to the spreadsheet. I have links for all the different materials you're gonna need here um, and where you can find them. So that's probably the easiest way rather than I describing it here again. But that's pretty much it. Um, again, she is a, what I would call a level one engineer because she doesn't have any other engineers before her. So she is pretty easy to unlock. But regardless, I hope you found this video interesting um, and useful. If you did, give it a like down below and I would be very happy if you would subscribe to the channel as well. Thanks a lot for watching and until next time, I will see you guys in space.